OK, it's time to celebrate because BARS has arrived in System 1. I know what you're thinking. How on earth can alcohol come through the System 1 software, through your computer hardware and land in your glass? OK, it's not that kind of BARS. We're talking about a new NHS interoperability standard, the Booking and Referral Standard, which is abbreviated to BARS, and this enables us to make referrals to pharmacy first quickly and easily. And apart from us celebrating this, it's actually the community pharmacies who are also going to celebrate because now BARS makes it possible for the referral to arrive directly into their clinical systems, which is much easier than receiving it via things like NHS Mail. OK, let's have a look. So when you look at the TPP video that demonstrates the BARS functionality, you can see how they've recommended you add it directly onto your toolbar so it's quick to find. Makes a lot of sense, but in Northwest London, we've also wrapped that BARS module around with a template. The template gives further sort of clinical guidance. So inclusion, exclusion criteria for all the different pathways, as well as quick access to communication analytics preset messages to intelligently signpost patients and a visualization to show you how you're doing. So to find this template, if you go into your search bar at the bottom left and type in pharmacy, you start to see the option pharmacy first and pharmacy services with that medication icon. So you can either click there or if you go to auto consultation, you go down to 25, you can select pharmacy first, pharmacy services, referral there. Or I've also created a protocol to launch that template so you can add that to the toolbar. So this is that medication icon here. So if you click on that, hey, it's launched the template. The big new addition is this button at the top left is in green. That is how to click to open the bars module. What it also will do is add a code to track that you're doing a referral. So that's the one advantage of this button. If we look further down, I've got the clinical pathways here. So those are the seven clinical pathways where patients can either self-present, be signposted or be referred. And to make it easier for you, I've created communication annex preset messages for all of those. So if, for example, if you did a UTI, it loads up a message where it puts a correct code into the record that you've done the signposting to pharmacy first. And it explains a bit about the service. It gives a web NHS website link so that the patient can read more about UTI management and it leads them on to how to find a pharmacy. So it's just intelligent signposting. So you've got that for all the different clinical pathways. Then the next option, mine illness, that's the second component of pharmacy first. So previously what we used to know as CPCS, that effectively got rebranded into this part of Pharmacy First. And the most important thing to realize is you must do a referral. You cannot just signpost. And that's where BARS comes in as well. I'm not gonna show you yet the section low down. I'll come back to that. But that shows you all the different other pharmacy services that you can navigate. If we go back up to the top, um, we've got the different pages of this template. So if you go to the clinical pathways one, this shows you again those seven different clinical pathways and again those communication analytics preset messages but the most useful thing here is it's got the inclusion criteria and the exclusion criteria for all those different pathways it also makes it easy to quickly select one of those to, if you want to add a code for those particular conditions now if you go to minor illness similar it's got a list of all the different possible things you might be able to refer to ph uh, pharmacy first in that minor illness pathway but you've got to look again at the suitability, the green box, and then really the exclusion, the things you shouldn't be referring. On the next tab, this is just a general guidance page. This won't make a total sense right now unless you've seen the BARS module, but I've just suggested you some presets that you might want to put into the BARS module. I'll show you that in a mo. And um, here's again some links to particular information pages if you want to know more about different services. And um, I've also just done a reminder about GP Connect Update Record and GP Connect Access Record and how you need to enable it. And then finally, the third tab is just acknowledgement and a usual disclaimer. Let's go right back to the beginning. 
And shall we now launch into the bars module to do a referral by clicking on this button? And here we have it. The first thing we need to do is select a pharmacy. And we can choose it's either a pharmacy or the patient's home, or we can select if we want to put it here, meaning the GP's practice. Or if we click on other, we can type a postcode in this box on the right to search around there. So if we look and search on the patient's home and we click here, it doesn't find anything. No, don't worry, the system's still working. You'll see a list. The reason we're not seeing anything right now is that at the time of making this video, all the pharmacies are shut. But the system allows me to look for closed pharmacies. So if I select include closed pharmacies and search again, the options start to come up. And here we go. You can also select include pharmacies closed in the next 15 minutes if you're trying to think about if the patient can dash to a pharmacy as 15 minutes. So that's another option you've got to search on. When we select a pharmacy, that must be in discussion with the patient. Often it would be the patient's nominated pharmacy, but the patient must lead the discussion. So when we've selected it with the patient, we click on the chosen one. So let's just click on the first one. It's asking me, do I want to select a closed pharmacy? And the answer is yes. So the top of it, we have the pharmacy that we have picked. Now we need to put in the patient contact details and the quickest way is to go to known telecoms. So if you click on that, it shows you all the different contact numbers that are in system one record for the patient. So in this case, there's only one. So we can click on that and click select. The next box is about contact type. So if we click on that and click self, so this is the patient's contact details and we've done it. Now you may wonder that this is a bit unusual. This is different to how we normally share contact information through system one. This design followed the request by NHSC. They wanted to make sure there was control about the different numbers that were shared with the pharmacy. So now if we look at the referral details, it's asking about the condition. So it might be, you know, like something like sore throat. The narrative might be a bit of background, a very short bit of background about, you know, the history or maybe how they presented to the practice. You know, how did you navigate them to this referral? And then maybe an instruction to the pharmacist. But usually, rather than just also free texting, you can set up presets to save you time. So if we look at the first set of presets, this is a bit like Blue Peter. Here's one I've done earlier. I've set up presets for all the different clinical pathways, so those seven conditions, and then also some of the common minor illness referrals that might be made, just to make it quicker. Now, what would work in a practice is if one user set them all up, you can other users can then choose this option copy from another user. So you don't all have to individually do it all. You can just get one person to do it and then copy from them and hopefully make it as you would like it in your practice. So I'm not going to select any of them because I'm going to be typing in test. Now the next narrative box, again, presets. Um, here's a couple of things that I've done, but I'm not going to select any of them. I'm just again going to type in test. And then finally, again, the next set of presets could be that I select this one, please contact patient to arrange for, sorry, please contact patient to arrange to assess patient. Now, um, again, I'm not going to do that in this case, I'm just going to type test. And that is it. If you click OK, the referral is done. So it's very fast to do that referral. What could also be a good thing is if you've done a referral, again, I've done a communication out preset message here, which just could be just telling the patient that you've made a referral and that, um, you know, a web page that can help them find contact details of pharmacies if they're not sure um, of their pharmacy's phone number, if they do need to chase up um, what's happening after they've been referred. So there we go. Finally, let's look at section here. We've got all the other different pharmacy services. We've got blood pressure check service, so you could signpost the patient there, contraceptive pill service, emergency contraception, new medicine service. If you know what that was, that's when um, a pharmacist can give some guidance or review or advice after you, after a patient's been commenced on a new medication. And um, flu vaccination at a pharmacy, other general pharmacy services, emergency prescription. Now, this is actually part of Pharmacy First, it's the third part of it, but they wouldn't encourage us in general practice to navigate patients to this. This is for patients to be able to get emergency supplies, repeat prescriptions, but obviously they think that it would be clearly best for everyone if we were able to just issue it directly ourselves as, as the GP practice. And there's the COVID lateral flow testing. 
At the bottom, you've got a link to NHS Service Finder. That's a useful web page where you can actually um, log in and find different pharmacies that offer particular services. You can find their contact details if you had to um, contact for them any reason. And then in the bottom right, I've just kept our manual sort of word integrated form for referrals as a backup. That could be easy if ever there was a situation which you couldn't do a referral through bars, but it's there for that purpose. Now, if we go right back up to the top and we click on this Pharmacy First Pharmacy Services dashboard, it opens up a visualization. And here you have it. It's really an activity dashboard. And if I navigate you down the left hand side, I've set up rows to sort of, sort of tracking the Pharmacy First service, the BP Check service, the contraception service, and the new medicine service. And then in the columns, I've done a section about signposting when we've signposted the patient uh, using maybe a communication act preset message. And if you divide this up, it shows the previous years of activity, the previous month of activity, the current month that's been done, and the current year running total of how many signposting has been done by the practice. Similarly with referrals, it'll count us referrals in a similar way. And then this one is a total of signed page referrals. So it totals up these two columns to so just see our total amount of activity that we've tried to direct the patient to the pharmacy. And then when the patient has declined a referral, so if we've tracked it, encoded it, it will come in here. But on top of that, this now on the right shows us the total pharmacy activity based on reports that pharmacists are sending the practice. So every time a patient has been seen, if they agree, a, a, um, a sort of consultation summary goes back to the practice. If you activate GP Connect update record, then it means you receive that in a coded and structured way directly into system one. And those codes can help track the activity. So that means you don't have to manually code anything. It will come in, it was coded, and these reports will pick up that activity. So you can almost get a sense of the activity that um, has been happening. And remember, a lot of patients will walk in directly to the pharmacy for these services. At the bottom, there's some, some beautiful bars, and they may not, may not be working right now because we're the early in the month, and also bars have just come live. So that's affected coding in the last few days. But this is just showing how the practice is doing in terms of the current month's activity compared to the previous month's activity. So this one's for Pharmacy First, Blood Pressure Check, and then Pharmacy Contraception Service. And then in the bottom right, this sort of um, traffic light um, may be inspired by Squid Game, don't ask me why, but you know, green is good and red is bad. So if you're green here and showing this number here, it usually means that hopefully GP Connect update record is on for you and everything's okay. If you're seeing it going red or orange, then maybe you need to check your settings. Maybe you've turned it off. So it's just a useful thing, just in case you think you're live with GP Connect update record, but actually you're not. It can maybe pick it up. So that's that visualization. And we've looked at this template. We can click on OK to get out of the template. And now you can see how the entry of that pharmacy first referral through bars looks on system one. So you can see this blue arrow, this referral here. If we hover on it and right click, um, we can see first of all view details. That will show us the referral that we sent. So again, um, test, test, test. It also shows us the status pending. That means it hasn't actually been sort of sent at this stage. You know, it hasn't been received or actioned. Again, if we right click again, you can see that view status history there as well. And it's not just there, you can find it in the referrals module. So if you go here, again, you can see that um, referral is shown there. When we right click on it, in the future, you'll be able to have an option of cancel referral. At the moment, that's not live yet, but you'll have to be able to cancel referrals through that way. So there we have it. That's a quick walkthrough of how in Northwest London, we've wrapped around the Barnes module with some resources. If you're not in Northwest London, a lot of things I've shown you won't work. So don't just look in the search bar and expect some things work. But much of what you've seen has been uploaded into the System 1 resource library. So it's totally free to download and use. Some things like the communication and its preset messages, they're not there. You know, we can't upload those sort of things to resource library at the moment. Um, but you know, if you want to ping me, contact me, I'll see if I can help you with some of that. Um, the functionality is shown as it is at the moment. It's likely to constantly tweak, constantly change. This video will probably date rapidly, but hopefully the concepts that you've seen will be generally applicable. 
Okay, so now really it goes back to that celebration. The pharmacist will really love us to switch over to this bars. It really will make their life easier than receiving things for NHS mail. So do, do use the functionality um, that you've just seen in this video. Thank you.